This week on Westford Cat News, the school committee announces finalists for the superintendent's position. Um, the screening committee sent for, is sending you four finalists. Um, the vote to send forward these four finalists was a unanimous vote on the part of the screening committee. The school department's director of finance departs. And finally, some COVID relief for restaurants. I'm Joyce Polino Crane. Stay with us. Westford Cat News is next. Before we get started, Westford, last week we mentioned Janelle Chaffee in the news and mistakenly called her Joanne. We apologize for the error. The school committee has narrowed the candidates for superintendent of schools to four. They are Christopher Chu, principal of the Stony Brook School here in Westford, Michelle Shannon, executive vice president for client services of the Leadership Academy in Long Island City, New York. Margaret Adams, Assistant Superintendent of Teaching and Learning at Melrose Public Schools, and Matthew Janger, Principal of Arlington High School. All four have doctoral degrees. As Superintendent Bill Olson grapples with a potential budgetary shortfall, Ingrid Nelson, the School Department's Finance Director, has taken a job in the town of Harvard as of February 22nd. Um, as you may or may not know in the, in the public, our director of school finance, our outstanding director of school finance, uh, Ingrid Nielsen, um, has decided that, um, to, that she, she would leave the Western Public Schools to take a, a more manageable job from her life perspective um, in the Harvard Public Schools. So uh, we will miss Ingrid greatly. Uh, she has been an outstanding contributor to our school system. Um, but sometimes people make decisions that are uh, based on the importance of, of their being able to conduct their life in, um, in a manner that is consistent with what they expect and their family expects. And so um, this job, I think, was the point where I know Ingrid was spending lots of nights and days and weekends here, particularly throughout the summer. Uh, and she, Ingrid, like Kerry, and hopefully myself, uh, run towards uh, issues instead of running away from them and run towards work instead of running away from work. And so we know that this was an important lifestyle change for her. And, and no, there was no hidden agenda that I mean, I've seen the stories on social media uh, left and right. There's, there's no intrigue. There's no mystique about it. It was just, it's the right fit for Ingrid's lifestyle. So we thank her sincerely for her work and um, hopefully someday she'll come back in the Western Public Schools. Olson said the demands of the Westford job kept her working on weekends and at night. One of the largest school systems in the Northwest region, Westford has nine public schools and 4,700 students. Harvard has two public schools and just under 1,100 students. Olson recommended to the school committee that members bring in an interim financial director to keep things running smoothly until a new superintendent comes on board. He urged the committee members to allow the incoming superintendent to choose a permanent finance director. I'd be looking at an interim position. I think the best thing uh, to happen is for the new superintendent to select the new director of school finance because that person uh, sometimes um, has had a working relationship with a person in the past or knows specifically what, um, what they're looking for. And so I think, it's, I think it's in the best interest to have the new superintendent uh, fill that position. Olson's one-year contract ends on June 30th. Nielsen took over the finance director's position about a year and a half ago in July 2019. She sent Westford Cat the following statement in part. 
I love working in school operations and finance and have had a great experience in the Westford Public Schools. Every day presents new challenges to address. The trick is being able to balance this job with family and personal responsibility. When I saw a part-time job for school finance opened in a neighboring community, I had to explore the opportunity. And finally, Westford, we bring you the latest COVID-19 news. Health Director Jeff Stevens, along with Westford Cat Production Coordinator Patty Stocker, fills you in on the good news for restaurants. So in phase three, what that means is places like restaurants no longer have capacity guidelines that they have to follow, such as the 25, 40, or 50 percent. What it does mean is that they can make sure that people can sit in their restaurant six feet apart. Mm -hmm. So whatever their capacity at a six foot distance is, is what they're able to do. Gotcha. So in, in some spaces, that's going to mean a lot more seats. In other spaces, that won't be much of a change from say the, the 50%. Mm -hmm. So it's, it just, it gives the restaurants a little flexibility on what they can do. Uh, additionally, the town is trying to make sure that anywhere that somebody wants to go, now that good weather is on the horizon, we should be able to allow outdoor seating in some capacity again as well. So that's going to be an important piece for restaurants, which will again increase their capacity with additional seating outside. That's it for now, Westford. I'm Joyce Polino Crane, and you're watching Westford Cat News.